In this video, we are going to continue with equation of a straight line, how to find the equation of a straight line. And the information, they will give you one point and perpendicular, not parallel, perpendicular to another line. You will find this on page 310 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Given one point and perpendicular to another line, let's look at an example. Find the equation of the line which is perpendicular to this line and pass through this point. Okay, now first, this is not in the gradient y-intercept form. So I'm first going to rearrange this equation. I'm going to make it a bit bigger for you. I'm going to rearrange this equation so that it's in the gradient y-intercept form. So I just take this over, then it be or subtract negative 2x, subtract negative 2x. That is already there. Now I can see the gradient. What is the gradient of this helpline? This is going to be negative 2. But don't forget that perpendicular lines, the gradients are reciprocal fractions with opposite signs. So I have to find the reciprocal Rocal fraction of 2, which is a half, and opposite signs will be then positive a half. Okay, so that if I multiply it, this 2, it will give me negative 1. So basically, it's that positive a half. Okay, now I do exactly the same as the previous methods. I substitute the perpendicular gradient, then I take the extra point, and I also, don't forget, don't forget, this is your value of, value of x, this is your value of y. So I substitute y, I substitute x, and then I am just start rearranging this, um, or subtract neg um, minus 4 and a half, minus 4 and a half, then you cancel, this one's cancel out. The value of c will then be 6 and a half. And now I can just substitute everything. Put in your gradient, put it in your y-intercept, and this is in the y-intercept form, and you can leave it like this. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you... I'm going to make it a bit bigger again. I want you to do... Try now 12, but you can just do number 1. I just want to just make sure it's 12, yes. And you can just do number 1. Stop the video and you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, find the equation of the straight line perpendicular. Now, remember what I always say, this is number one, this is just your helpline. And that line is going to be y equals 4x minus 5, whereby the gradient will be 4. But don't forget that when it's perpendicular, and I'm going to write it now there, perpendicular, then we always say m1 multiply m2 is negative 1. What does this mean? Take the reciprocal. So this is 4 over 1. So what will be the reciprocal? So um, I'm going to call it new m, okay, or m2. And that is going to be a quarter, because 4 over 1, turn it around, swap it around, that's a quarter. And if this is positive, then this is going to be negative. Okay, now I can substitute, take my y-intercept format, and now go and substitute and I'm still going to keep that you can see where I substitute. And now I bring in my extra point, and my extra point is negative 2 and 4. And don't forget this is x and this is y. So I substitute again in the place of y, 4. I'm going to keep to the colors. And in the place of x, a negative 2 and then plus C. 
Okay, and now I can, now I'm just going to keep to one color. So this is four. Now, a negative times a negative is a positive. So, but it's two over four. Can you see? But I want to show you here. So it's two over four, which is actually just a half. I'm just writing it here on the side. You can always do your rough work on the side. So just do it here. Sometimes it can even get you an extra mark in the exams, but not in this case. Okay, so this is going to be a half plus C. So if I'm going to now just subtract a half, subtract a half, so the value of C is going to be 4 minus a half, so the value of C is going to be 3 and a half. And now I'm just putting everything back. So now I can go and say, therefore, Y equals, don't forget, this was your new gradient, so it's negative a quarter X plus three and a half. And that is the equation of the straight line when I give you this information.